Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? Valentine's is coming. Yes. Where's your boyfriend? Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? Good morning, good people, and welcome to the live stream as we launch Love Crazy for the month of February. So this month, we are going live with a new series that is going to last from the 1st to the 15th of the month. Let's see who is here today. We have so many people here today. Dion is here on time. Happy February, Dion. Hello, hello, how are you? Hope you are good. Okay, let's see who else is here today. So we have Khala is here, Tiro is here, Promise good morning. Radi, good afternoon to you in your part of the world. We also have Lesuho, Nisi, Good afternoon to Dion again. Um, Raquel is also here. Diana. We have Asanda who's also here. Um, I think I'm saying Kawari. Let me know if I'm saying your name right. Kawari? Kawari? Okay. Let me say if I'm, let me know if I'm saying it right. Temeli She. And we also have... Uh, let's see. Um, where, where's here? Mwah. Are you still at the farms, babes? Are we still at the farms? Have we left the farms? Have we emancipated ourselves? Or are we still captured in the farms? Gorky is also here this morning. Good morning to all of you. And thank you for joining the morning party. Happy new month. And happy February. Happy month of love. And happy Monday. So today we're coming to you with a live stream. Because I want to tell you guys about a few changes that are going to happen to the channel. Here in your favorite skirt. To tell you about the new channel changes. As well as the series love crazy so starting today we're going to do all things love finding love keeping love magnifying love love with god love with yourself all forms of love you know tuesday we're actually going to be talking about love and shmoney honey love and shmoney tomorrow's a good one so better be here for that as well and then we are going to get into a new way that we're going to have our live chat so as you know, every single day for the past 222 episodes, your girl has been coming to you with live premieres and a live chat with every video. Now, we're changing that up. We're going to have a morning party, a morning watch party from 7.30 to 8.30 in the comment section with every single video for the duration of the love series. So join me in the morning. I'll be there from 7.30 to 8.30. Come when you can and leave when you are ready between 7.30 and 8.30 in the morning every day for the next 15 days. I'm there with you. Let's keep the conversation going so that people miss the morning party. They are able to catch up and see what has been happening so everybody can feel the love, you know, not feel like they have been missing out completely. So there'll be a little tagged or a pinned comment right at the top that says welcome to the morning party and we comment right below i'll be there you'll be there the party continues but it won't be in secret and there won't be a time limit we will just be there live between 7 30 and 8 30 if you want to go by 8 a.m feel free to let's just get into the show so those are the changes that we have hopefully you guys will love them many of you are asking yeah no where's your boyfriend for february you've got 14 days and counting <laughs> to find your man um i can tell you where he at yes dion and morning to sianda and we also have uh Nalene catching in from california usa it must be like 1 a.m in the morning let me know if i'm right what time is it there 1 3 a.m in the morning 4 a.m somewhere there and we also have um i said it right yay kanisa's also here mercy so many of you joining the morning party. Valentine's is coming. Ah, where's your boyfriend? Valentine's is coming. Ah, where's your boyfriend? Let's get the show on the road the right way. Welcome to How I Do Things. I'm Kopana Shimage, and this is the show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things. Now, you can take this as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it because what? Me? No professional. No professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Today, I'm going to tell you about the first ways that we should love ourselves. Eight ways that you can show yourself a little bit more love. Now, in the month of love, we're just like this. Where are you at? 14 days and counting. 
where is this man? But the first thing that we need to do is radiate love from inside. People are attracted to the things that they need and they want in their life. So if you have love coming from the inside, flowing out, that's how you attract more love towards yourself. Love is magnetic, honey. And if you show yourself love, it becomes something that is just easy. It's magnetic. It pulls in the right type of love that you need in your life. So let's get into the eight ways that you can show yourself a little bit more love and it gets better and better as we go. So start with the easiest and starting with the most foundational one number one understand how important you are to god you are so important let me tell you what would happen if we were all walking we are matching we are matching we are all matching in the name of the lord then you by yourself you decide to stray you walk in your own direction the lord's gonna be like hold up one of my children is not here all of you all billions of you in the earth. Wait, my one child is gone. This is Jesus. My child! My child! Jesus is going to go look for you. He's going to go look for you. Because you are that important. He will leave all billions of us in the earth. If he realizes that my child is gone astray. My child is gone missing. He'll leave all of us and go look for you. That's how important you are to God. Like, what? How many are we in on earth? Six billion? And he would leave all of everyone for me? You are one in a billion. One in six billion. Let's just put it there. That's how important you are to God. And if you knew that you were that important as a human being to your maker and your creator, you wouldn't take yourself as a small thing. Because you're not. You're a huge, massive, important being. In You know you are his important seed, his vessel. That's how important you are to God. And when you, when you understand that, you start to love every single... You see how hairy I am? I will love every piece of hairy hairiness on me. Because God loves that hairy hairiness so much. I will love my long sideburns. I will love my scar on my chest. I will love my nails. I will love my hair. I will love every inch of this body inside and out. The spirit that I am. Everything. Because everything that makes me who I am from the physical to the non-physical to the being that will, that will be with Jesus. The spirit that he has created. He loves it so much. Therefore, I should love it just as much as he does. Number two. Show yourself a bit more grace. I also think... You know, lately, ah, I've received a lot of comments, right? And a lot of questions from many of you about, you know, I'm not getting this right. And life's not going the way that I want it to go. And, you know, I'm, I've messed up so many times. Show yourself a bit more grace, babe. Be Jesus to yourself. There's an unending well of grace that comes from the Lord that is served to us every single day abounding show yourself some of that grace you know when you don't get things right when you don't wake up on time in the morning when you fail a few modules in your degree when you fail the year show yourself a bit more grace forgive yourself because you are human forgiveness starts with you moves on to the people around you and then forgiveness is given to you so start by forgiving yourself. Show yourself a bit more grace. You are learning. You are progressing. You are growing. So show yourself a bit more grace and saying, you know what? Even small progress is enough. Even just one tiny millimeter of progress is enough. Show yourself some love. Show yourself some grace. Because that is an unconventional way to love yourself. Just be a bit more forgiving with yourself. Number three, have a little bit more self-importance, but don't have pride. Pride, God does not like pride. So no pride. We're not going to have pride, okay? Self-importance in that you know how God loves you and you are important to God. You should also respect yourself in that way. When we say we fear God, it is a respect that we have for him. So he created us. So we should respect ourselves. We should respect ourselves in such a way that we will not allow ourselves to be around people who don't respect us. We will show respect and demand the same level of respect from other people. 
self-importance and that we should respect who we are. When you wake up in the morning, babes, when you wake up in the morning and you leave the house, do you look like you respect yourself? Do you look like you are important to yourself? Have you taken the time to show that this skin is important to me, this hair is important to me, this, this fiber is important to me? How I dress, how I present myself is important to thyself. Do you look important to yourself? Do you? Find yourself important enough to take care of yourself and to take the best care of yourself. Some of us take care of our houses better than we take care of ourselves. Some of us take care of our, our cars better than we take care of ourselves. Some of us take care of our employment and our employers more than we take care of ourselves. Be that important to yourself to take care of the vessel and to also take care of the spirit that is inside this vessel. Take care of yourself because you are that important to thyself. Halfway through, number four, accept nothing but excellence from yourself. These two are connected. Whatever you do and whatever you touch, you have to decide to yourself that I will do the absolute best. I accept nothing but excellence from myself. But you must watch this because there's a very thin line between excellence and perfectionism. Let me explain. Perfectionism will, be, will say that I will not give you this thing until I feel as if it is perfect. And if it is not perfect, you're not getting it. I'm not doing it. I'm going to wait until everything is in place in order for me to go through with this thing. But excellence believes in progress. Excellence believes in getting better over time. So if you believe in excellence, you will know that, listen, I have to get this thing done. I will do my best. Even if it's not perfect, it will be my best and I will get it done. That's what excellence believes in. It believes in getting the job done first and then it says, I will do my best job. Perfectionism says you will only get what is perfect, which does not exist. And it will not let anything go until it is perfect. But excellence says that I will do my best every time, but it will get done. Perfectionists have a problem with not getting things done because they're just like, I didn't have everything I needed, so I didn't get started. Mm -mm. We are going to not progress. That is an enemy of progress. Perfection is an enemy of progress. Excellence. Excellence, babes. Excellence is just like, I'm going to use whatever I have to just do my best. Do your best. Accept nothing but excellence from thyself. For halfway through, let's see what's going on in the comments. Fire, darling. I'm seeing it. Valencia, good morning. You're driving and listening through the radio. Thank you so much. And we also have Koki saying, let me love and leave you. Catch you guys later. Exam o'clock. Good luck for your exam. I know you're gone already, but good luck for your exam, Koki. All the best. Um, Jory says that it's 9.37 in her area of the world. So you and uh Nelene actually have Nelene actually have a very close time let's see Radhi is saying all oh, the best Koki good luck for your exam Koki may God give you more than you deserve Mwah. um we also have um important to love thyself amen I am love I am important as under saying oh yes Amen. Hashtag self-love. Self-love is so important. Number one, envy, envy, envy. How important we are to God. Let me catch up. With, woo, wow, so much fire. Dion, today, let's see. Dion, what are you saying? Are you stirring up something? Dion, what's going on? Wait, what did you say? Some of us are taking care of men that's not even a husband, that's not even husband material. Ooh, very true though. Some of us are taking care of our guys more than we're taking care of ourselves. We must be important. We must be important. All right? Remember that relationship in terms of it's God, it's you, then it's another person. Understand that, that level of importance in your life. All right. So good morning. Watching from Tanzania. Um, Miriam, good morning. And good morning to everybody in Tanzania. And let's just see. I would love to do an African tour. And just go to everybody who watches it from all the countries in Africa. Yo, oh, that would set my light, my heart ablaze. Um, I stopped this perfectionism issue and am striving for excellence. Nice one, Rati. And let's see. You're an inspiration. Thank you so much, Mercy. And uh, Mela saying you're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love yourself. So true. 
I have a huge problem with being harsh on myself. So you definitely need number two to show yourself more grace. All right, so let's move on. Number five, raise the bar of expectation from other people. So there's a pitfall in this one, okay? The pitfall is this. Expectations, the reason why people don't meet your expectations is because you don't communicate your expectations. Therefore, people can't smell that you expect them to do things, they don't get done, and then you get disappointed. So if people don't meet your expectations, the first person to blame is you. So in this point of raising your bar of expectation for other people, the first thing you need to do is communicate your expectations, right? This is linked to number four. If we're going to accept nothing but excellence from ourselves, it means that we should give people excellence as well. And in our expectations, we say that I give you excellence, I expect you to give me the same in return. You can't expect someone to give you excellence if all you're giving them is nonsense. No. I come here, I deliver to you guys every single morning. I put on the beat. I make sure I give. I serve, darling, as much as I possibly can. And then you guys just give me excellence in return. Thank you. That's how life works. If you want excellence from other people, you have to give it first. You lead by example. And then when somebody does not meet your level of expectation and does not meet your level of excellence, you can point it out and say, I give you my best. Next time, please give me your best. Reciprocation. That's how life works. People feel that they, it's, it's almost a natural thing, that they feel as though they owe you equal and opposite reaction. So if you are shouting at someone, they feel as though they need to shout in the same level or higher. If you give someone excellence, you communicate you want excellence in return, they feel obliged to give you excellence. Even if the person doesn't give you the best outcome, if they did their best, that is good enough. Number six, no ugly panties allowed in 2021 or 2022 or any 20 after that. No ugly panties allowed whatsoever. I remember one day, <sighs> I was packing up my panties. I was moving out from, this was five years ago. I was moving out from where, no, this wasn't five years ago. It was two years ago. I was moving out from where I was living with my cousin, okay, who was my bestie. And she pulled out a bra and she's like, ha, 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 let, 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 throw this thing away. It was so ugly. And I pulled it back and I was like, no, this is my running bra. I thought that was okay at the time. Time, Jesus, the word has showed me that actually ugly panties are not allowed, are not allowed in our lives. Why would I run with an ugly bra just because I'm running? We have this mentality that, you know, we need to run and exercise an old and ugly truth. No, 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 no. No ugly panties allowed. My panties are for me. Y'all don't know what color my panty is. You don't know if it matches with my skirt. You don't know. Can you confirm it? No, you can't. It's mine, right? So why would I have ugly panties for myself? But wear a nice skirt on top of it for you. Doesn't work like that. We do our best for ourselves. All ugly panties must go. I cannot do this. I mean, how else do you love yourself? If you're going to be wearing ugly panties, you can't do this. This, this issue stresses me and I'm going to do a video about ugly panties again because I feel as though we're not listening. We're not listening? No, ugly panties. Flip man. Number seven. One of the greatest ways to love yourself and one of the greatest ways to elevate your entire life is to be on a mission. Pick a mission in your life. It could be anything. Write a book this year to lose, you know, 20 kgs this year. Pick one mission, just one. What happens with this mission is that it sets a light in you. Especially if it is something that has been burning inside of you that you've been thinking about for some time now. And you just make it a mission of yours. You decide, you're just like, you know what? This, this thing of writing a poetry book has been in my heart for, for quite some time now. And it's something that at the end of the year, I can just tick off and say that I did it. When you make that your, your mission, 
something in you comes ablaze. A mission, it, it lights a fire in every person. And if you want to be a person who's on fire, baby, find a mission. You become so interesting. You become a person with just so much going on for you. You, you become a person who's radiant because there's something other than your work, your children, your house that is happening in your life. Something that, that feeds your soul. You become a light and it shines for a lot of people and other people can feel it. And it changes you because you're, it's one of the best ways to love yourself is put yourself on a personal and selfish mission. Even if it is to finish the Bible back to front, even if it is to decide that, you know what, this year, this year, I'm going to retile my bathroom myself. It is your mission. It is your mission. And when you do it, you come alive in ways that I cannot. It's self-love to challenge yourself, to bring the best out of yourself. It's self-love and some of the greatest self-love. And finally, number eight, make time for yourself, by yourself. Make time for yourself, for yourself. Let me explain. Sometimes, I'll make an example of myself. Sometimes I make time for myself to go do my hair and my nails and all of those things. But that is just an appearance thing. So it's almost like I make time for myself, but I'm doing it for other people, if that makes sense. But what if you just made time to just sit on the balcony and just drink a cup of tea and do nothing, nothing, nothing. That's time by yourself for yourself. Sometimes you make time for God. And that is a good thing. And we should do that all the time. That is number one. Remember, time, making, understanding the importance that we are to God. But what if you just made time by yourself, by your ace, for yourself? By yourself, for yourself. It's the ultimate form of self-love is to give yourself time. You give God time. You give your family time. You give your employer time. Give yourself time. Very selfish time for yourself is one of the best ways that you can love yourself just enjoy yourself by yourself ultimate form of self love all right let's catch up with the comment section no ugly bindis sibu i do not accept ugly bindis it is unacceptable it's disgusting. I have a whole bucket of panties that I have to throw away. I, it's just, it's a logistical, you know. I've got to burn them, but the fireplace, the chimney is blocked. So I'm still, logistically, I might gather them and go to the farm and we can all have a bendy bonfire, me and my sister and my mom. Dig a hole, put them inside and then burn everything. It's just a logistical. I don't believe in throwing away panties just as they are. We live in a country with people who need a lot of panties, guys. And I don't want some random stranger to wear my panties. It's a disgusting thing, but it's true. All right. <laughs> Anything old, ugly, and with holes and looks too holy needs to go. I agree, Dion. Raquel, all ugly panties must go. I am going to chuck them out now. Cut them in pieces first, please. For my sanity. I... Yo, Kopano, should also let go of the indoor and running and running ugly ones. Yes, please. All of the ugly clothes that you do your exercise in, they must also go. Mpumi, good morning, babes. We're listening. All ugly panties and their cousins must go. All of them. <laughs> really good stuff. Glad I joined you today. No ugly panties. I need a panty budget this year because wow, wearing a great panty makes you feel so good. Gives me so much confidence. It does, right? And it's for you. It's for your internals, and it feels so good. Uh, all right, beautiful people. That is that is all I have for you today. Let me just see. Last comments. Last comments. Love from Jamaica. It's me, Miracle. Hello, Miracle. Started reading the Bible front to back today. Currently, page 12. Nice one. Oh, that's very fast. You already started today. That's very fast. I, I value me time so much to the point that I have something I call working hours. That's where I entertain everyone during the day. But after five, it's me 
and myself and me myself and i yes maria is saying no room for ugly panties no space at all you take them to h&m for recycling how exactly do they recycle our panties lab k what are they going to do with my panties what exactly are they going to do with my panties Let's research this and we'll talk about it in a video about how to discard panties. Because it's like batteries and things like that. They also need to be discarded in a proper way. Yes? Yes. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, good people. Welcome to Lab Crazy for the month of February. We're still going to be doing this and it's going to be good. I've got a really good video planned. <laughs> it involves my husband and he doesn't know when he's watching this. You've been warned. Thank you so much for joining. That's all I have for you today. Have an absolutely amazing Monday. See you guys tomorrow, 7.30, for the morning watch party in the comment section. Until then, beautiful people. Mwah, mwah, mwah.